Good morning and welcome to the shop. So today we are going to be building, I'll probably do most of the work, a an air filtration system. So I was looking, you know, online at basic systems and you know people seem to be pretty positive on the when brand. And I thought, you know, for because I wanted the, the thousand CFM model and I think that was pushing like two hundred and ninety dollars or something. And I thought, you know, this is really basic. You know, you're just pulling air through a filter. So that seemed excessive. So I and there's another problem. I I like having eight and nine foot ceilings in my garage and I didn't want uh, this giant box hanging down. Not that it was it really wasn't gonna be a problem, but you know, I figured if I can get this up above the rafters, that will be even better. So what I've done is designed designed a little box here. So what, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that 12 by 30 filter, and then that will go, that'll go here. And then this, this box, part of, part of it, is going to hang, like four inches of it, I think, is gonna hang below my rafters. So then air will be sucked up through the filter here. And then everything else, all of this, will be above my rafters. So it'll be completely out of my way. So air will get sucked up through the filter, exhausted out into the shop. Um, so I'm gonna build two of these. And one objection might be, oh, well, the Wens have a remote and a timer and all that. Well, I've thought of that. So I've got some Casa uh, smart switches. So I ran, the way I've run my wiring, I've got, I'll be able to have the outlets that my two air filters are hooked up to. I've got those running off of a Casa smart switch. And so that uh, has a timer function, has on off all through your smartphone. So that's even better than the remote that comes with the WEN because I don't have to be within eye shot of the unit in order to operate it. If I am in my house and I realize, ah, crap, I forgot to shut off the air filters, I don't have to run back out to the garage. Just fire up the app and press the icon and it'll turn off. So, and those are actually on sale on Amazon right now for like 18 bucks each, I think. Uh, so not a bad price. And I'm actually going to show, uh, I'll show the cost of everything that I purchased to do this versus the price of the when. Doing it yourself, significantly cheaper. Um, so I'm not going to show the entire build process, but basically over the next few hours, I'm going to be turning these into something that resembles that. Uh, and I'll share plans and everything, uh, you know, to the the uh, Rhino 3D file, uh, but that might not do you much good because this is customized to, you know, my rafters and my garage. Uh, but uh, it'll give you something to work with. So anyway, in a few moments for you, but in a few hours for me, uh, we'll come to hopefully the completion of this uh, air filtration system. Well, here we are, uh, several several hours later. Uh, for varying magnitudes of several. Uh, but I do have a box that resembles the plan. Uh, and I think it's going to work. Fan spins. Filter will go just down there in that slot. Air will get pulled up through. And uh, should have less particles in it. Now I just have to get this thing up above the rafters. And I can get that from my upstairs. I'm pretty certain there should be a half inch of clearance and I'm feeling confident because you know I've never measured anything in it correctly before so hopefully in a few minutes you'll get to see this thing 
up there and plugged in. Well, uh, it's more than a few minutes later, but she's in there. So, of course, the half inch of clearance that I figured I was going to have turned out to be zero. But, uh, yeah, nothing a dead blow hammer and some patient maneuvering couldn't address. So, anyway, it's up there, plugged in, filters mounted. And uh, let's see if she uh, see if she fires. I do not have the smart switch in. As you can see, I've got a temporary wiring situation going. Uh, here we go. Hey, she's spinning. That's, uh... There's certainly suction there. By the way, I'm sure you all know this, but you should, uh, should probably never be using open wiring. So anyway, very cool. Still don't know if this project was worth it. Quite a few hours invested in this stupid thing. Uh, and I don't know, you know, the efficacy of the entire system. So I guess time will tell. But I do want to, I want another one. I want a second one on the other side of the garage. And you know, I'm really debating right now, do I want to build another one or do I just want to buy one? And then maybe compare the performance. I don't know. Anyway, it's up, it works. Uh, and I'll post the file down in the description. So if you want to build one yourself, you certainly can. I'll put a full list of materials there as well as the cost breakdown between what I did and you know, what the pre pre-built when would cost you. All right, well, until next time, farewell.